I don't really play the game often, but we are here showing off my amazing shop. As you can see, this is the front of the shop. And since the last episode of the slot development, what I have done is I have added a door. So, so I can keep people outside. We can open these doors for if the shop's open and close them for if the shop's closed. That's how you guys will know. But... This area, I've not decided what I wanted to do here. I've ran out of ideas to do for this area. I'm not sure, but I've got, I've gone and used the resources available to make a small little shelf. But, oh yeah, there's also, this is my artwork. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. But, this is my shop you were seeing. You may have seen me doing this in the last slot development video. The reason why I changed the design is because I will show you literally in a couple minutes time when we get upstairs um, because the issue has happened again. Uh, but here, nice screenshot uploaded to Xbox Live. That would be the thumbnail. <laughs> but we have our alpha axes. I'm still yet to go out and buy loads and loads of um, wires to go and put onto these signs here, but if you want to know the prices, every item that I have, what I have, and how much it will cost, it will be in description below if you want to go and check that out. And it will also be in the comment section if you don't know where the description is. But we have got the Alpha Axe, the Beta Axe. We have also got the Cheated Box, but because it's cheated for, if you put it behind glass, nobody will know, but as you can see, cheated box that's how i get my boxes out i just remove the glass and then i just grab the box and pull it out and then i just put the glass back where it was but it is not to go oh there we go okay and we also have the many axe as well the same issue happens here where the sign for the many axe just disappears over behind the glass we also have the amber axe same issue there we have the chicken box axe which is amazing why is this oh my god okay back there we go we also have ourselves presents and this is like i don't know christmas display i'm still yet to change it to the next season but christmas is going to be coming up soon so get your presents where you can we also have ourselves smiley faces at the top as you can see we've got different types we have ourselves signs if you want to drop off your sign feel free to do so i will be giving you ten thousand for every sign dropped off at this base we have ourselves tires. This is what the tire looks like on preview. We have ourselves a golden toilet, which is amazing. Uh, but I quite like this uh, shelf design. I I kind of been doing this like the entire time. We have one extra present up here, which you shouldn't be here. Let's go upstairs. Actually, no, not yet. We have ourselves a cupboard. Let's have a look inside of our cupboard. So at the moment, we have ourselves conveyors, one piece of wood. Um, two tires, a light, and a scoop head. You also need to go upstairs, but we're not going to do any of that now. I'll do that after. But we'll take the present upstairs because I'm sure there's a gap for it. And as you can see, this is, you may have seen this a couple times in the slot development videos, but this is the second floor. And I actually quite like the look of this. But the reason why I have glass is because people can come on here with your axes and they can knock everything off the shelf. I'm going to have to keep the shop closed for another day or two because just up here, as you can see, someone else has done it. So I need to go out and buy some more glass and I need to redesign this shelf here because the ducks will not fit on them. But... Once I put everything back on the shelves, I already started doing that over there, uh, I can open up my shop. But back to the second floor, we have ourselves pumpkins, different types of pumpkins, multiple ducks. We have ourselves more presents because that just seems to be the rarest things in the game really. Axes, we got more presents, turkeys, more presents. We got ourselves a traffic cone present normal presents, more golden toilet presents, I believe that's the golden toilet anyway. We also have ourselves candy bags, trick-or-treat bags from Halloween. 
We've got ourselves some balls that are unopened, well, opened and unopened that are over there. We have ourselves the brand new Thatchet book from, I don't really remember where that's from, but we have them. We also have candy canes, green, red, and there is another colour, but it's boxed up. We have ourselves small little boxes of presents. I believe this one is the spoon or the spork, and this one is probably that book there, I think. Somebody's here. <laughs> right, we also have ourselves charcoal presents. I will also do a video on that in the future, because there is something you can do with that. Small little secret. But we have ourselves some other presents. These are the chicken axes. We have ourselves the noob heads, more noob heads, even more noob heads. We have ourselves the eyes. These are going to be really, really expensive because they are no longer in the game. And they're just really, really rare, ostrich eyes. We have ourselves some more heads, some more presents, even more presents. Fire axe boxes. We also have some more pumpkins. Here are the unopened balls. We have ourselves some frozen presents, which you would have seen me open one of them in the previous episodes. But inside of here, we have ourselves our little axe storage room. So this, I'll get to this in a bit, but if we turn on this lever, we have ourselves a yellow light and it looks pretty cool. But we have ourselves an axe storage room with the alpha, beta, amber, uh, what's that one? I'm not too sure there. That I don't think that's an axe because there's a gap in the middle. Oh no! We are also we also have ourselves the fire axe, the chicken axe, the many axe, and these two are empty for any new axes that are coming into the game. But we have, if you want to just buy an open axe, I have plenty of open axes here, and as you can see, these are all ready to be taken away. I am considering doing a giveaway on with some of these axes. If you want to just take them, you can have them. But yeah, we also have ourselves another tire. And if we go to the third floor, we also have some more other hidden rooms as well. So if you head to the back of the store, you have two hidden doors here and they literally serve no purpose because yeah, they, they, they just don't. Um, but yeah. And you're probably wondering, what is behind that big massive orange door, excuse the mess, because people were messing around. But we have, as you can see, more people were messing around when the door was open. Um, I've, I've reorganised most of it, but I kept this one there just to show people. But yeah, this is like my own little storage room to keep my own stuff inside of it. And... I hope you guys like that, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, I also have a ladder that leads to the top of the building. So I can go and um, have a look at the world from the very top. But as you can see, I also have a sign up there that says Xbox. But in case um, people don't know what device I'm playing on. Because some people can actually comment and chat. There's a sign over there. Can I take that sign? I wonder if it's like... No, I can't take the sign. But moving on to the outside of the shop, as you can see, we have ourselves the windows. So we have spook wood, phantom wood, cheese wood, glow wood, and orange wood as well. We also have ourselves goodie bags, frozen presents, axes, and more pa and more presents as well. We have ourselves a bit of grass. This is what the grass is meant to be. It's actually made out of zombie wood. But over here, we have ourselves a car park. And I quite like the car park, it looks pretty cool. And the final place to show off in the video is the outside. Well, it's not the final place, we've got two more places to show off. We have ourselves the conveyor that leads up to the other room. We can use the um, other switch that was there to open the hatchet and obviously get stuff to come up here. Uh, that basically leads from the shed and you can basically do anything inside of that shed and it will come up to the main room. Like I said, we have the Xbox sign. Uh, we also have ourselves a working, yes, I know, working, finally, by the way. We have ourselves a working one by one sawmill, which is perfect for me because I have special power that allows me to build using one unit at a time. But as you can see, I've also decorated my base using these LED lights. This one's going to be moved around here as well. We also have ourselves, this was not put in one of the previous episodes, I have got myself a door. I realise this is 
a perfect fit for two big fat doors, so I have put myself a fat door in there. I have also gone and put my own secret doors as well, for if I'm on the outside of the base, I can just open this door and I can get onto the inside of the base, like, easy. I also have LED lights onto the outside of the base as well. We have green, cyan, purple, blue, yellow, and more cyan, because I have a lot. Uh, the way I can turn these off is I have switches, literally, if we go on the inside. We have switches right here. I'm still yet to fill in the, gra fill in the glass. There's still a couple more things that I need to do. But if we close the door and head into the shed, I also have a sleigh back from, like, 2017. I've just had it, like, in my shop on the floor, and I had no idea what to do with it. But I have found the perfect fit, which is under the uh, conveyors, which was a hard place to put it. But inside of the shed, we have ourselves a couple more shelves. This is basically a main area for me. I'm still yet to go off and do one more adventure to go get some phantom wood to finish off my roof. And I will be recording that in the process. But I can turn off the outside lights by doing that. And yeah, it's, there's not a lot here to see other, other than two cars, the conveyor, more axes for if I want to go out on adventures. And... And double doors as well, not double, well, some double doors and normal doors. But I'm still yet to finish off the glass as well, otherwise you can just jump in. We also have ourselves a special light here, and it's just a small red light in case, just why not. And the way you turn off these lights outside is by flipping this lever right here, and there we go. Other than that, that seems to be my, about the that seems to be a, about it for the shop tour. We also have lights on the outside here as well. They but they're just red and uh, it doesn't do a lot, but they're off at the moment. And yeah, anyway, that's about it. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more episodes like this on the channel, uh, leave a comment on what you want me to do and how you want me to do it. And I shall review them for the next episode. Anyway guys, leave a like, subscribe, see you guys in the next one.